Hey guys, welcome back, it's me Queen Jade, and welcome back to my channel. Now this one is about 10 myths about trans people, or just, like, just myths about transgender and how, how things about trans as well. So I hope you guys enjoy, if you do then please like the video, and if you're a trans person or a person who is an ally to the trans people in the community of the LGBTQ+, then welcome to my channel and i hope this video is for you if it is then please give it a like down below and subscribe to the channel so myth one transgender people live crazy lives this is probably the most common misconception about, about trans people many people incorrectly associate being transgender with with automatically living on crazy lifestyle based on TV and in the movies. This may involve drag performance, hypermasculine or hyper feminine behaviour, drugs or prostitution. Some trans people and some non trans people too engage in above behaviours. But all transgender people do the do ev do the everyday things that are a part of life. They go to work, buy groceries, see movies, kiss their kids, good night. They are people. They do people things like everyone else. Myth two. Transgender people are confused. Just because a person is different doesn't mean they don't know who they are. Trans people have sex, have a sex. They are females, males and intersex. Trans people have a gender, they are men, women, queer and other genders. They know they set that they know their sex and they know their gender. This can be confusing to us to inhabit who inhabit more traditional gender roles. But the, to the transgender person it is not confusing, it's just who they are. That said, coming to the realisation that you are trans and coming out publicly as trans in a society that doesn't accept or understand you can be very confusing and hurtful. Many transgender people have experiences of feeling defective or wrong. This is a social problem, not a gender identity problem. Myth 3. Transgender people are mentally disturbed. It's true that many trans people suffer from mental illness, but it's not because of their gender identity alone. It's because of in a patriarchal patri, patriarchal society, being gender variant causes a lot of distress. So much distress, in fact, that it can be de described by a diagnosis of a mental disorder. This diagnosis is helpful because it tells us that this person is hurting and something needs to be done to help. Transgender people have the same brains we do. They are just faced with a lot more mental and emotional stress. Myth number four. Transgender people are gay. Trend Gender identity and sexual orientation are two completely different, separate things. Um, I'm going to do that again, sorry, I'm going to backtrack. Gender identity and sexual orientation are two se completely separate characteristics. One is what gender we see ourselves as being, and the other is what gender or genders and sex and sex is we are physically and romantically attracted to. Knowing one doesn't tell you about the other. Myth number five. Transgender people are radical liberals and with crazy ideas. Transgender people come from all political and religious backgrounds. Many trans people just want to lead their lives as part of a of mainstream society and it be accepted and not be com and not condemned by their families, churches, governments and communities. They should allow this. Other trans people feel strong, very strongly about changing the system that has oppressed them and adapt 
radical, more radical beliefs about the gender system. They wish to live outside the traditional social norms and not be deemed freaks because of it. They should be allowed this too. Transgender people are diverse. Each will make a unique decision about the life they want to lead. Comment number six. Transgender people hate their bullies. This is a very common myth. It does make sense when that a person who identifies as a woman might be uncomfortable in her male body and vice versa. And some transgender people are uncomfortable and want to alter their bodies. Others choose to live with their bodies as they are. The other choice means that this person hates themselves. On the contrary, a transgender person can love themselves through the whole process of transitioning. And we can love them too. Each person's relationship with their body is unique and we should support every transgender person in doing what works for them. Now, myth number seven. Transgender people perform drag shows. Conservative thinkers would love to point to a singing, shim shimmering, scantily dressed, heavily made up drag queen slinking across a stage and say, that is a transgender. But in, they're wrong. In fact, did you know that the majority of gender performance is done by non-trans people? Because it's just a performance, it's not about real people. Drag queens and drag kings, or de-drag, for theatrical commodic, com com at times political purposes, they do it for their art and they do it with you, the viewer, in mind. When a trans woman wears women's clothing or a trans man wearing wears men's clothing, they are not doing drag, nor they are nor are they cross dressing. They're just wearing their clothes. Myth number eight. You can tell someone is transgender just by looking at them. This is a myth meant to make us believe that transgender people are all crazy freaks. That you can spot one like a cartoon villain or a Sasquatch. Look, a tranny. It is a hurtful and leading lie, misleading lie. The truth is, transgender people have bodies just like ours, and they may display them in very traditional ways. Some pass very well, others don't. As feminists, we don't judge our bodies or anyone else's. Myth number nine. Transgender aren't real men or women. This is probably the most hurtful myth of, of all. It tells us that transgender people are somehow less human because of their gender identification. It is proof that they do not have a place in proper society. It is hateful and unacceptable. Everyone should have the right to be men and women, regardless of the sex category or anything else. There are many ways to be human. And myth number 10, which is the last one, transgender people are weird. When someone is unlike anything we have ever seen or known, we think that's weird. It's okay to have that thought, it's human nature, but it's important to understand that your perception of what's weird is based on your experiences and your culture. Many cultures think that living outside the gender binary, two gender system, is perfectly normal. Transgender pe people are integrated into mainstream society and may even be held in high esteem. We can do the same. As feminists, we think difference is good and we embrace weirdness too. That's it for now. If you did like this video, then please like the video. I will do another trans related video in the next video upcoming. I hope you guys hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload or a video that I'm going to be doing. Subscribe to the channel if you want, it's up to you. It would mean that you're great. 
it would mean a great deal to me if you did subscribe so please some of you are not subscribed so please make sure that you are um like the video if you want to um subscribe hit that notification bell and please leave a comment down below and work guys what we should do next bye for now